Hello and welcome back to Colouring with Kay. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping by. So in this video um, I want to go through the completed pages I have in my Maria Troll uh, colouring books. Um, so I think I've got all of the colouring books but I haven't um, coloured in Twilight Garden yet. So I'm just going to share the completed pages um, in the ones that I've coloured. So I'll just put this to the side. And then the first book we've got is Flora. So I shall just open that up. So the first picture here I have is of this little bunny rabbit. And I just bring it up to the camera so you can see a bit better. So I've used glitter gel pen on here, pencil of course, um, I think some ink tent ink tents on these um, big green leaves and yeah a bit of uh, clear glitter on the wings I don't know if you can see it there and then um, new colour to background so that's that one and then the next one because I've only done two in here is this one I think I've shown this in my end of April pages so this has got uh, gesso on it and I, th I used um, lots of different watercolour media on here I used the Tombow markers I used the Arteza Twy markers and uh, watercolour pencils various types so I don't know if you can see on the wings there on the fairy here just there uh, I did put some glaze medium on which gives it a lovely shine so that's it for flora so put that to the side and the next one nightfall so the ones I've got in here um, this is the first one most recent one well not most recent but most recent in this book and um, I started this off with pastel pencils for these purple bits but I didn't like how it looked so I just um, went over it in pencil so again near two colour background or near colour two background I should say pencil for the most part so that's that one and then when I first got this book I did a few in well a couple in uh, markers so this is just um, Stadler Tri Plus markers and a bit of gel pen in the centre of the flowers a bit of pencil though on here and the little bowl of water there I think a bit of pencil on the bird so um, that's that one and then this one again I don't use markers that often but sometimes I can't be bothered with pencil um, I do really like pencil don't get me wrong but sometimes I just want to lay colour down so it's mainly straight this is just straight colouring and it's got gel pens Pentel gel hybrid there on the mushrooms so that's that one nightfall put that to the side the next one is Drum Reese so I've only done two in here as well and there's this one which I completed in March it's with the lovely whale there and I've got um, new new colour two in the background um, gel pen and pencil um, yeah so I like that one I like the picture so there's that one and then the next one is this one I might have shown this again in in my April pictures so there's a range of different media on here in fact I listed it over here as you can see um, so things like Neo Color 2 ink tense pencils lots of different types of pencils Pablo Prismacolor Holbein Black Widow uh, Posca pens, big intensity felt felted pens, jelly rolls, 
all sorts. I, I do really like doing mixed media. So there's that one. So that's Drew Maurice. And the final one that I've coloured in, um, which is probably my favourite of Maria's books, is Botanicum. And so what I have in here is the um, the nameplate page. So I've got this little uh, dragon here. So that was in Polychromos pencils. And um, I made this as a robin and the snail. Again, that's Polychromos pencils. So that's that one. And then the next one is this. So this was completed in February of this year. So I've got metallic paint on this, um, on the B and on the, um, I think they're called bleeding heart flowers. But I didn't know that at the time and I just made them blue. So I like the color blue. So that's that one. And then next I have two on this page. This is this one. Uh, are they called narwhals? But I'm not sure. So again, gel pen, um, the little silver fish there, and neo color two in the background. I like the turquoisey blue colors I've chose there, and then it's pencil. For the most part, that's that one. And then in this one, just take the tab off. Again, I really like colouring bees, so I use metallic paint for them. I use metallic paint for some of the flowers, these ones down here. And actually the ones down here are, I've got metallic paint on it. So again, it's the Coluro paints. And then I think a bit of, um, I'm not sure actually, if the pencil background, I think it is a bit of a pencil background there. So that's those two. And then maybe one or two more, yeah. This one is one which I did um, autumn time last year. So I like the mushrooms and the acorns there. So again, new colour two background. There's a theme here. I, I often use new colour two for backgrounds, but I'm getting a bit more adventurous now. So I'm using paints and other stuff as well, um, like using pastel. So I'm using pastel more and more for backgrounds. So that's that one. And then last one, which I also did, I think for Halloween last year was this one. It's got a black acrylic paint background. And then I um, put some glitter on top there. I think I use some sort of matte medium to get the glitter to stick. Uh, but I've got other options now which I can use. So yeah, that was a good one to do. So that's my completed pages for um, Maria Troll books. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I just want to say also thanks so much for watching my videos and thanks for liking, subscribing and simply just watching my videos. I really appreciate it. So until next time, take care of yourselves and bye.